Today, I'm going to talk to you about layer height settings and the importance of variable layer height. For this demonstration, I chose this decorative object. There's no particular reason I picked this model. My friend Kale just told me it was popular. Also, let me be clear. This video is meant to improve your print quality, not your libido. Anyway, first, you're looking at the object printed with a 0.28 millimeters layer height. If you look at the base, the very first part of the print, you'll notice it's not exactly smooth. So let's fix that by lowering the layer height a bit. This version of our decorative object was printed with a 0.16 millimeters layer height. Not bad, right? But considering the intended use of this decorative object, a smooth surface is a must. Otherwise, well, nobody's going to be happy. So let's jump into the variable layer height tab. Pull both the quality and radius sliders all the way to the left and press adaptive and smooth. The slicer will automatically optimize the object for a smoother experience. I mean, smoother print. Now, you can see the difference between the last two versions. Of course, you can always manually smooth out any region from the right hand panel if you'd like to fine tune it. You can access my training session, which lasts less than two hours, at Bamboo Studio via the Udemy link in the description section. I hope this was a helpful and educational video. If you're into tutorials like this, make sure to stay tuned. And if this video gets 1,000 likes, I'll scale this object to double the size and send it to Kale. He might regret recommending it. See you next time.